Hi guys and welcome to the voiceover for this tutorial. It is quite a long one as I wanted to show you all how I converted the save the date into single lines so that the foil quill will foil a single solid line. So firstly I'm designing in Adobe Illustrator. I go ahead and type in all the details making sure the fonts complement the design and the sizes are proportioned well. Next I go through and I just add some geometric lines, making sure that they're all on angles. I convert the save the date font into outlines. I don't need to do anything else to this font as I am happy with the double stroke effect. For the rest of the text I will make a copy, enlarge it so it's easy to work with and then I'll rasterize it or in other words convert the fonts into an image. Now I trace the image using a line art option. This will give me one stroke. I then go through and just manipulate and join all the lines together. With some of the lines I'll use the smooth tool um, and this just makes a better line I guess and a bit more smoother, um, a bit more natural. I go through all the letters and modify them. Some of the letters are perfect and I don't need to do anything else to them.
Next, I resize and group the newly created words and then move them into place. I save the invitation as an SVG file so I can upload to Cricut Design Space. In Cricut Design Space, I upload the SVG file. I select all the layers and change them from cut to draw. This will make sure that the foil quill will draw on foil and not cut through the foil. I place my cardstock onto the mat and use a piece of pre-cut card that is the same size as the save the date so I know where to place my foil and my tape. After my Cricut has warmed up for 5 minutes, I will then put through the mat and the paper. If you are new to the foil quill, feel free to watch the other videos in our foil quill playlist as I explain a little more about the quills and the settings used. As you can see, I have only foiled one invitation, but if you are doing this yourself, I would recommend making 2-4 to four cards at a time um, so you can save some time and also some paper. Once the foiling is finished, I then remove the tape and the foil from the machine and then put it back into the machine so that it can cut out the card. That's it. The results speak for themselves. The quality is fantastic and I'm sure the client will be thrilled with the outcome. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you again in the next video.